Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joined today is my friend who loves reusable bags and more, Phil Gruby. Phil, I say that because I was telling you off air that every time I go to the grocery store, I forget the reusable bags. You what? Every every time? Oh my gosh! I had already forgotten. <laughs> Let it ride. Yeah, it ride. yeah. Uh, well, we're not here to talk about bags, but since we were talking off air, I just wanted to bring it into the conversation. But that's your tip of the day. Put them in your trunk. And remember that. Uh, we're talking about uh, a couple events coming up. Spring uh, Shred and Recycling Day is upon us. Uh, we, we've got a date. We've got a time. We're going to talk a little bit about that. I put where are the bikes as, uh, as a reminder. That's a great to talk question. About, yep. uh, the B Seagull, B Seagull, B Cycle Bikes. Uh, and then a little bit on Earth Month, which kind of coincides with the spring recycling. It does. But Earth Month, Earth Day, all that coming up. So, first off, the date on the spring shred and recycling day is? Saturday, April 13th. Well, it's not good for me. I'm busy that day. Oh. Recycling stuff get, at this event! Okay. Get your stuff to me in it's advance. Um, <laughs> Saturday, good. April 13th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. at uh, Fitchburg's Civic Campus. Um, so mostly around City Hall and the Community Center. Same setup we've, we've had in previous years. There's some information online right now. If you search Fitchburg's website for oh, shred yeah. event or recycling event, uh, we'll add more as it becomes available. Things like a, a flyer from our, our vendors about what is and isn't accepted and, and how much it costs. Most things, most electronics that are smaller are free to recycle. Um, some larger items just because of additional cost to, to break them down and, and the, 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 the bulk they take up. A uh, few things do cost some money to recycle, but confidential paper shredding um, and electronics recycling. Now, in years past, we have also had a med drop at the police department for this event. Um, the police department is no longer holding a med drop, so that's not going to be part of the event anymore, but we still have the paper shred and the recycling. Um, try to make sure that everybody is, is well-versed on locations that do still accept medications uh, in case you know people are driving up asking questions. We want to know that... that uh, that people have a good location to go. Um, I believe the Fitchburg Police Department's website has resources on where you can take your medications you to now. You stole my thunder, buddy. I was just going to say. I'm sorry. I don't want to step no, on your toes. No, 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 no. You're doing great. Uh, but they do have the resources of other places that you can take it, mm -hmm. even here in Fitchburg. So uh, just because you can't get it at the police department, drop it off at the police department. Say that right. You you got other places to go. Yeah. The importance of this event... I love getting into the details yeah. of this and why you, why you should avoid getting some things in there. But if you really think about it, throwing a plant or putting a plant like in the dirt doesn't really sound like a good idea. No, I mean, just, it doesn't. Just in general, and and even even in a landfill, um, it's it's just not for for multiple reasons. And it, the thing I struggle with most is I could go into a really long explanation of it and trying to keep it condensed. The big things are one. Landfills are pretty well sealed so that you're not getting a lot of leakage, but still it is possible that things could leak into soil, groundwater, um, you know, if you're just throwing things away, especially if you throw them out in the dirt. Uh, but two, uh, buying, buying brand new things costs materials, and every time you just throw one thing away and buy something new, uh, you're taking resources, just trashing them, and then you have to extract a whole bunch of brand new resources. If you're recycling instead, you're reducing the amount of new stuff you need to extract from the earth and just that more, you're getting closer to the circular economy. We, we definitely, um, there's a reason that it's in the order reduce, reuse, recycle. The, the biggest thing is just reducing materials in general and reusing things as much as possible, hence the reusable bags if you're able to. Um, but then recycle, you still, we wanna go that option before wasting and then re-extracting. Um, you know, it, it's. I, I was actually just talking with somebody about this this morning. That it has become this idea that that waste reduction is just the realm of of uh, overbearing environmentalists. Mm -hmm. We all have grandparents, great grandparents that that were dealing with the Great Depression, and waste reduction and being efficient was everyone's business, and it should be that way. You know, it it is. It's about being responsible with with uh, you know with general earth stewardship. It's about saving money. It is. You know, it, it's not cheap to to go extract brand new things and buy a whole bunch of, of items. Uh, you know, the more you can reduce, it's it's just kind of better all around. 
it's amazing to think even back in the depression era that mm -hmm. I, I think of when i was helping clean out one of my grandma's houses yeah. that how many things that were saved and containers that were saved and, and you're like why did you and then it's like because that was what it was um also yep. uh the the amazing amount of things that can get recycled and reused uh, and taking these electronics apart and mm -hmm. parting i mean what we found out is some parts are hard to come by now, so yeah, it's better to go sure. and get them out of, of what it is. Uh, and and so it just, I don't know, it just works. And a lot of things, even beyond electronics, there, there I was just talking to somebody yesterday about uh, plastic film recycling. So you can take plastic bags back to grocery stores, and they'll usually have a bin that you can put those bags in for recycling. But it's not just plastic grocery bags. Um, any of that type of plastic film, essentially, if you if you crumble it and it stays crumbled, generally you can recycle it. If it pops back out, um, it, it, it probably has to be trashed. But like bubble wrap, most bubble wraps can be recycled with that plastic film. No kidding. Little known fact. Hmm. Small. Yeah. I, I definitely don't know uh, all of the, the ins and outs of it, but that's one thing that I learned you can recycle. Um, this is pretty cool. If any grocery store calls me and says, hey, we're not doing that, I'm coming after you. <laughs> go, I'll, I'll get you the resource where I learned that from. Uh, we can go after them together. <laughs> yeah. Okay, deal. Or just reuse deal. your bubble wrap. It just reads but, and, and you know, sometimes you just your... get too much of it. And... Yeah. No. Yeah. That's good. Uh, well, again, uh, that date, uh, April Saturday, April 13th, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. right here at the city campus. Uh, and uh, the flyer is coming soon. He said so. so I did. I'm, I'm watching for it. I've already asked, so I'm, I'm, I'm first in line to get that for sure. I'll bring it down and hand it to you. Darn right you will. Uh, where are the bikes? B-cycle bikes. It's getting, It's been so warm out. I know. <laughs> I feel, we I feel so bad Gosh. for them. That it's just been so warm, and I'm like, I've been on my bike several times now. To be on a bike in February, which you're like, you should bike year round, Jeremy. I know, but it's just been so nice out. It's crazy. I, I should bike year round, Jeremy. Um, yeah. It's go. the weather's been amazing. Uh, thinking about global warming climate change it's you know there's discouraging conversations to have but if you want to get on your bike it's been fantastic you can get out and run you can take advantage of the nice weather um uh i don't have the details right now uh been working on some other things need to have some conversations with the b cycle folks soon i believe mid-march is when they're going to put the bikes out for the system uh they have unwrapped all of the docks i saw so that they're, i know I'm the docks pumped. are that's ready. what got me excited like hey, hey we're getting pun. we gotta be getting close unintentional all right. I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, the bikes should be coming out. Uh, I think last year was March 15th, so I'm expecting somewhere around there. Um, I don't have a official word, but definitely keep an eye out for it. Fantastic. Uh, they should be on their way soon, and we've got our dozen, I don't remember the exact number, but dozen or so stations around Fitchburg, and we're going to expand that this year uh, with a few more docks. Um, got some locations in mind, need to figure out a few more, but we should be up to about 20-ish stations by the end of this year. Fantastic. Yeah, I encourage you to try those out. And uh, Phil and I are going to try those out. One of these shows, Absolutely. we're going to make Nick follow us on a camera. Pop down to the place. library, get on a bike, and yeah. go ride it up to McKee why, Farms Park. Why the library? We go right outside City Hall here, dude. Come on. There's one right outside City Hall. Jeez. I walked by the library once. <laughs> It's over there. That was yeah, no, it's mind, all yeah. good. You're right. You can go down to the library. You can go down to all the other locations. We're not bad-mouthing the library docks. They're gorgeous. No, they're down there, but yeah. they're far. I need a B-cycle to go down to pick up the B-cycle. <laughs> there we go. We'll <laughs> go to the community center, pick up a B-cycle, ride down to the library, pick up another one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a day. All right. Uh, Earth uh, Month is upon us. Uh, well, it's coming up anyway. Next month, it's upon us. It's upon us coming up. It's only early March. Um, waterway cleanups is one of the many events that we're going to talk about, but uh, waterway cleanup yeah. has a date. Waterway cleanup, yes. So this is uh, this is one that is uh, heavily uh, uh, it, it's advertised by and, and led by members of the Resource Conservation Commission. Um, the the waterway cleanups will be Saturday, April sixth, I believe, from nine to eleven. Uh, you may know somebody who's leading one of the locations, and you can talk to them about about volunteering. Or there are there's information uh, and signups on on the website as well. I'll have to check and see if that has been put on the website yet. We'll definitely have that up. Jeremy yeah, yeah. says no. We'll get that up shortly. Um, but yeah, if you haven't done this before, there are somewhere between four and seven different locations around the city where we just gather people for a couple hours to go around and pick up trash and keep it out of the waterways. You know, we're we're talking about things like uh, you know parts of Swan Creek uh, and and over by Yarmouth Greenway. There's some some uh, streams down there. Uh, multiple locations that we just kind of like to get that trash out. 
certainly encourage people to do that, you know, anytime, you know, we're, we're walking the dog or taking the stroller around. If there's, you know, a can rolling down the street, we'll grab it and take it home to recycle. But this is a, a good opportunity to actually give people bags and gloves and things that mm -hmm. makes it feel a little bit, uh, a little bit more doable to just grab handfuls and get them off the streets, get them out of the water. It's pretty cool too. The groups move really quickly. Like it, they do. You think it's like this daunting task of, of picking up they can move pretty quick. Yeah, and, um, a, a lot can be done. So I've, we, we don't get the, um, the waste that we gather for this. I don't think we get weighed. We, we, we collect a number of bags, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but we don't get it weighed. I know that I did this uh, when I was living in Southeast Texas in a city of maybe 20,000. Uh, and this was an annual thing. The, the year that I led it, we collected 20 tons of trash You're kidding. just on one Saturday. Um, yeah, just the, the power of a number of, of committed people all, all working together. You sure there wasn't dirt in those bags? Well, somebody might have been padding their numbers a little bit. <laughs> That's all good. Uh, and tree planting as well. we got a bunch of tree, tree planting, planting events uh, coming up. Yeah, I don't know the details on that. I know that our uh, naturalist and forester, Anna Healy, tends to lead uh, tree plantings right around Ar uh, Arbor Day, which is April 22nd. Is that right? Boy, you're just on a roll for guessing here. Well, my guesses tend to be at least moderately educated. <laughs> well, uh, um, close enough. Yeah, there will be some tree planting going on this year. I assume uh, that's kind of an annual event. Mm -hmm. Arbor Day is all about mm -hmm. uh, planting trees and taking care of them. So uh, look for that if you're interested in, in helping there. Uh, I don't know any details there. I just think it's great to get more trees out. No, all good. Uh, all those events uh, it, for Earth Day uh, coming up will be posted up on the website once we get all the... Uh, Official times. We have some of the dates yep. ready, but times. We're, we're, we're hammering out the details. But uh, spring shred and recycling event, that one's coming up the quickest here, so yep. be ready. And we're another ready. one, if you want to celebrate the entire Earth Month, all of April, um, there is a really cool website called ecochallenge.org, and they do a number of sort of competitions throughout the year. We've advertised this uh, in the past and, and sort of organized like a city team. Uh, not sure if all the time this year. Uh, but they'll they'll do a time limited challenge. I believe this year for for Earth Month. Oh, I hope I'm right here. I think is a drawdown eco challenge, based on Project Drawdown. That was a, a book released several years ago. That's gotten some some revisions since then about essentially taking all of this massive stuff we're trying to do to reduce global climate change mm. and divide it up into a number of achievable wedges. So if we want to if we want to meet the climate targets that were set by the Paris Accords that we, you know, the IPCC has said we need to get to 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 keep global warming below a certain level, you know, we've got to do this this with agriculture and this with uh, with our clothing purchases and this with electric vehicles and renewable electricity instead of just saying, well, we have to do it all through solar power, really dividing it into chunks. And so Eco Challenge, I believe is doing a drawdown Eco Challenge this year for Earth Month. Uh, where you can, you commit to certain actions and every day if you are doing something that is on their list of possible actions, you go ahead and record it and you get points for your team for doing that. Um, so it's just a really cool way to kind of, kind of set a reminder for yourself and, and um, you know, it's, it's a way to have just, just some boxes to check to remind you of really simple things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis and ways to stretch yourself to, to be a little bit uh, more conscientious. Sounds like something fun to do with kiddos. Oh, yeah. Kiddos would love it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to have Phil say that website one more time. Ecochallenge.org. Mm -hmm. Make sure you uh, get signed up for that uh, and uh, take the challenge. Sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you so much for, uh, for all your time, as always. Yeah. And uh, we'll look forward to checking back in with you next month. Perfect.